Here's a fun little behind the scenes tidbit for you guys. I have been using the exact same intro on YouTube for so long now that I think I've subconsciously trained myself to be very specific and precise when delivering it. So like, as soon as I move my camera and shift my eye line with it or readjust my microphone and where I need to speak or take my headphones out so that I sound different, suddenly I can't do it. Like, I've been trying for half an hour to get out a hearty, what's up guys, but it just feels off, it feels wrong. So I'm just gonna start off this video by saying, hey, welcome to my year in review, to my 2020 funniest moments, or at least some of them. You know, I've definitely had to leave out quite a few memorable things, but even then it's still an hour long, which is double last year's. So I hope you're comfortable. I spent all day yesterday giggling at my own videos, which is definitely a little messed up, but I can safely say that 2020 was a good year for content, even if it wasn't a good year in general. Like, I, I know that I was really lucky this year. You no, know, I was able to work at home and continue to provide for me and my family thanks to all of your support. And like, I live in a place that wasn't overly affected by the pandemic. Like, I think from June till November, we didn't have any new cases, so I was very fortunate, but I know a lot of people weren't. You know, 2020 was definitely a year that was very financially and emotionally stressful for people. And when I was looking through all of these videos, the biggest thing that stood out to me wasn't stuff like you know, hitting 2 million subscribers a couple of days before Christmas, which was huge. Don't get me wrong. I very much appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. It just blows my mind, but like the biggest thing that I, I just kept getting reminded of was all of the comments and all of the tweets that I got throughout the year from people just unprovokedly thanking me, thanking me for distracting them, for taking them out of the situation that they're in for just a little while. And like, I, I know that I'm, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with my content and I'm definitely prouder of the stuff that I'm making, which is probably why this is quite a bit longer this year. What I also think is because uh, I feel a lot better about the positive impact that these videos had this year. And I, I wanted to just quickly say that and, and mention that like, it's a two way street. You guys made my 2020 a lot better and hopefully these videos did the same for you throughout the year. But that being said, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. This video is long enough. Prepare for a year of stupidity condensed into an hour. How do I fart? <laughs> Would it, oh. Yeah, I know, that's another thought-provoking question on my part, but... Waste it. Your reputation was ruined. <laughs> Wait, what? I only had one little tiny toot. How is that such a big deal? What about that guy's reputation? I let out one little cheek wibbler. Meanwhile, it sounded like that guy was doing a duck call from his butthole. How about we try that again, except for this time, I'll try to be a little bit more discreet about it. Oh, oh, here we go. That's a good opening. Uh, you three heard nothing, right? That was the duck call. I figured that was an opening, like it would drown out my butt song, but apparently not. All right then, I don't know why we would take off all our clothes. <laughs> I mean, that seems pretty uncalled for. I don't think I need to censor that, but I probably will. Like, it's just two pixels stacked on top of one another. But at the same time, YouTube is crazy. Like that is not an 8-bit penis. That's Danny DeVito. Do not take the last few ads that I have left. She's alone. Now is the chance to pounce. Go ahead, hit her with your best line. My love for you is like diarrhea. Sometimes I just can't hold it in. <laughs> I think that worked. It, it took her a good 10 seconds to realize that he was even sitting there, but... <laughs> It definitely worked. Okay, wonderful. Oh, uh, that was a quick pee. How you huh. feeling? Oh, it burns when you pee? Oh, no. You should get that checked out. It should not do that. He didn't pass that on to you. I, I don't even care. Do you want to head to the bone zone? <laughs> Come on, what, what are you doing? The S is right there. You, you've kind of got it. This is like the Hunger Games of Sesame Street. This is gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna die trying to fish out the letter S. Please, it's it's right there. You've got all your stupid little claws on it. Just lift it. No! 
I'm gonna give him about four seconds at most before he shatters his spine in these robo pants. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. <laughs> Am I wearing red, or am I just covered in blood? Maybe a little both? I'm like some weird shotgun Santa. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, holy crap. Yeah, it's blood. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. What to do with the puppy? Play with it or set it free? Well, clearly somebody loves this puppy, right? It's taken care of, it's got a collar, it's got a leash, it's got a party hat. So the owner might be nearby or something like that. If I set it free, I can guarantee it's gonna get hit by a car. I do not wanna see this puppy get smushed, so we're gonna play with it. I will play with it. So we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. <laughs> that ball, okay. <laughs> you probably shouldn't throw a ball that Satan gave you. That's just not gonna end well. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no! The treasure beggar dropped another can. I managed to unlock it. I think. I need to select the golden can you wish to unlock, and right is always right. Right? I swear to god, if there's a green angry muppet in here, um... What? Jackpot, even though you lost, it's a special lose. Accumulate lose, jackpot one. Relay lose, jackpot one. What? I want to see tickets. I don't think this is a bad guy. I, I think he just wants to see my ticket. If anything, I'm the bad guy. I didn't pay to get on this train. Uh, Expect maybe... to see less of me. Ooh. Okay. That worked way better than I expected it to. It's not really necessary. You know what else isn't necessary? Seeing this perspective of a hundred foot tall Russian taking a dump. Blinding dread, choking terror, my very sanity is teetering on the precipice, and looking down. No, I, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I, I can't perish now. Dark One, I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? No, I want to smooch ya. Eh? What? Oh, damn, Cthulhu is thick. I mean, she's got a face like low tide at the pier, but like, we're just one paper bag away from happily clapping Eldritch cheeks. Now that I think about it, being the new guy in town could actually have its advantages. Like, no one knows who we are. We don't need to be some bum hick farmer from out east. We could be a mysterious rootin' tootin' cowboy. Like a real ladies' man, what if we walked up to you and said something like, Hey there, what's a pretty bar like you doing in a girl... like this? The woman glares at you, you should probably just let her drink. That's fair. Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, nervous poops, don't mind me. <laughs> it's not every day that you talk to a blonde woman called Titzilla. There we go. I should really put my drink down somewhere. Can I just... Nope, all I know is punching. All I know is anger. <laughs> Just gonna quickly take a pee. Okay, everything is fine. Uh, what? You're late. I'm getting there, Bob. If you don't get your ass in gear, there ain't gonna be a wedding. Inspirational as always. Uh... What did you do? What kind of interdimensional time-traveling toilet is this? I only just met her! Oh, I am not ready for marriage. That is such a cool effect, though. I really like that. Cheryl, can you get off your phone? God damn it. It's bad enough we had to squeeze you in that tube top. You look like a sausage in a sock. 
Once again, I find myself asking, is this supposed to be some kind of pasty white ginger kid who dressed up like a Native American? Or is it some kind of soul-sucking clown that dressed up like a Native American? <laughs> Whether it be cultural appropriation or demonic abomination, I don't really care. I'm just gonna try to hit it with a pee bucket. For those of us who have no idea what a pickaxe looks like, they gave us a guide, which makes it incredibly easy for me to draw exactly what they want for me. So I drew Patrick. <laughs> it's gonna be like close enough, right? Yeah, that's give or take a little bit. I'm sure he'll get the job done. Name your pickaxe. This isn't pickaxe, uh, this is Patrick. Nurse, my left arm doesn't feel so good. I'd like my medications now, please. I'm tired of being ignored, okay? Either give me the meds or I'm, take I'm taking them myself. Screw you, get out of the way, lady. I'm perfectly capable of reaching into a refrigerator and eating them myself. There, how hard was that? It's, it's even a liquid medication. Do we go to a pharmacy for these meds or Willy Wonka's chocolate factory? Okay, hold on. First things first. Up, in, down, and then in, and grab it. Good. Now keep, keep it, keep it away from your balls. Sweet Jesus, keep it away from your balls. The nurses will never yell at you without him. I've just got to wrap, wrap, wrap it around, wrap it, wrap, wrap it. You gotta understand the wrapping motion here. Can, can you lick this for me, sir? There we go. <laughs> you want uh, tomatoes and asparagus, and the table's on fire. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that would be why this is here. Oh, uh, no, 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 <laughs> I needed that. Meow. Great, next question. How old are you? You must be 18 cat years old or older to compete. Meow. Okay, perfect. Now, on to the last question. Are you now, or have you ever been, a dog? Woof? Ah, oh, shit! Is now a good time to ask what a bear jockey is? Oh my god. I can understand carrying a weapon when you're riding a horse, but why when you're on a bear? Like, the bear is the weapon. This is the equivalent of driving into battle on a tank and shooting people with your BB gun. Should we go introduce ourselves? Oh, but we, we could uh, introduce ourselves to Lady Cop. Jump in the ocean. Uh, I gotta jump in. Hey. Oh shit. No, 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 not gonna introduce myself. No, no, it's the guy whose mop bucket I stole. I remember you. Hey. You'll never take me alive. Oh God, they might take me alive. No, no, no. Level 146, help Mark escape from the secret room. I'm sorry to break this to you, Mark, but you might be a bit of an idiot. There's a giant escape button here. Can we just escape you? Okay. So it's not a secret room, it's a prison. Like, I, I can see why Mark wouldn't be able to last long in prison, right? Those teal blue board shorts are like a welcome mat for your butthole. I don't want you guys to take this the wrong way. I am happy that we made friends with Morgan Freeman, but I don't want him getting the wrong impression. Okay, we are not looking for love, especially prison love. Oh, the tunnel behind my poster is the only hole I want stretched. Yep, this work order is for a bridge, but in all reality, a ramp is just a really cool bridge when you think about it. And we clearly have to make a monster truck do a flip. I have no doubt that he'll be fine if he puts the pedal to the metal. Go, go a little faster. You gotta go a little faster. What are you... I didn't think that Granny was taking Gravedigger to church this morning. What was that? Dispatch, we've got a 42069 in progress on the corner of closet and living room. No backup needed. It's a public nuisance spider. It's a routine call and not that big of a deal. I've been trained to de-escalate these situations. Sir, we know that you're in here. I need you to come out with all eight arms up. Sir, I want you to know that I'm here to help, okay? I I'm on your side. Oh no, he's resisting arrest. He's got a gun. I feared for my life. Uh... My body cam stopped working. I think they've both run out of ammo. They stopped shooting at each other all of a sudden. And they might be running a little low on gas. Or this could be a mating dance. I don't know, where do jets come from? <laughs> Can I take my miniature horse on the plane? 
That entirely depends. How miniature are we talking? Like motorcycle sized? Golden retriever sized? Or like action figure sized? Either way, it doesn't matter, okay? That's ridiculous. The answer is no. If you want to bring your miniature horse on the plane, then you do what everyone else does. You smuggle it up your butt. In the aircraft business, we call that the Brown Town Rodeo. Oh my. Are those noses under your dress or are you just happy to see me? <gasps> Pervert, wait, what? Do we try to seduce her? I've never been able to seduce a girl before. I'm going for it. I really like feet. Can I lick your toes? What? No! Stay a thousand feet away from me. Please, please, no, no, apologize. Sorry, my friend just typed that. <gasps> okay then, we're just, we're just gonna close this and never talk to women again. This is us, we're an anime girl who prays at the temple of the giant eggplant. Things get wild one night, we get a little carried away, and before you know it, it's morning and we're late for school. Bam, evil spirits attacking the world. Is that eggplant coming on to me? Whoosh, we're flying on the giant talking eggplant. Don't worry though, it's a god, or so says this eggplant angel. Now we have to save the world <coughs> one eggplant at a time. Saving the world is gonna have to wait just one more second because apparently the eggplant god is letting me spin the magic wheel of hats so that I can win a crane head? I don't think I really want that. I can't wear this, people are gonna judge me. I look silly, I need to look serious when riding my magic eggplant god and fighting the Karen spirits. Karen, are you okay? Like, do you realize that you were just kidnapped by like Applejack the Ripper and held captive in his basement for like a week? Like, you just escaped, you should be running and screaming, trying to find help. Avoiding moist titties should not be a priority. Here, take the friggin' raincoat, just put it on and slowly meander away. Sure, why not? I'm starting to think that her eyes are super beady because she's in shock. Should probably take the gun. Oh, this, this technically has three shots over two, but this is technically a gun. Mmm, decisions. I'm gonna take a basketball because I'm an idiot. Oh, oh, okay. You guys didn't want anybody touching your balls. Ow, ow, ow. Please stop shocking me. It was just a testicle joke. I don't know if I should bring this thing to life or not. Like, I can't stop staring at it and thinking this is what Seth MacFarlane's foreskin must look like. I know what some of you guys are gonna say. What did you do to the walls? They look perfectly fine and space-aged before, now they're a little loud. The reasoning behind that is, have you ever seen a xenomorph tear people apart in a brightly colored room? No, didn't think so. That may be because I turned the closet into an armory. May not look like a particularly safe armory, but I take gun safety very seriously. There's a gun safe on the floor next to the chainsaw. That's mainly for, you know, space zombies, just in case, you never know. I also stocked up on all the important provisions. This joke literally cost me a million dollars. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that money doesn't grow on trees, I'd probably have $2,000. Like, technically, the saying isn't wrong. Every time I threaten this plant, it doesn't cough up any cash. Like, clearly, I could see a bill growing out the top of it, so what do you want from me, plant? I typically wait until the third date to finger someone's can, but I'll play along, sure, why not? It's not like they're gonna ask me to spend $14 on a watering can. I guess you gotta spend money to make money, right? We're just gonna head on out and then give you a little watering and I get 10 cents. Would you look at that? Not too bad at all. <laughs> Things are finally going my way. Of course I would buy a watering can seconds before it rains. I see how it is. We need to expand our operation, right? Hire some gardeners. They'll be able to pick some money for us. So for 14 bucks, we can hire ourselves a neighborhood kid. Is this a Chinese money tree or am I gonna get in trouble for that? My mommy says that guards like you are all impotent blights on the face of society. Mister, what does impotent mean? I think the answer you're looking for is in the nozzle of this can. You just gotta look real close. Yeah, okay. Every, everything is fine. Young man, for the last time, I am the babysitter. I am in charge. You will not T-pose to assert dominance on me. What I say goes and I 
am sorry. <laughs> I completely forgot that I drew her arms at her sides. So like, how's she supposed to hold a pickaxe? Now he's just gonna sit on her. Some kind of weird little titty parrot. Oh, I gotta see the animation. Perfect. I couldn't have planned it out better myself. So we're currently contracting at 50%, which is two meters. If we take those two numbers and then divide by the radius of the bridge, as well as remember to add the circumference of Scooter Guy's hat because he's on top, and subtract the severity of concussion to Biker Chick on bottom, as well as multiply the whole thing by the weight of my depression, we should come to about 39%, we'll say? Try something like that, 39%. Lock it in. I have complete and total faith in the fact that I remembered to carry the one, and this will surely work. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. This isn't a bridge. It's just the world's weakest motorcycle trebuchet. I know we tried the Huacha, and there's a good chance that the catapult is going to do the exact same thing. It's just going to backflip into the stratosphere, but... Would you really not want to see that? Let's be perfectly honest here. I want to know what happens uh, when a catapult loves itself. Um, what? That is not what I expected at all. Rule number one of partying with aliens is not to show up late to the after party. Otherwise, you're going to be the one who gets stuck with cleaning up the stripper cage. And you really don't want to be responsible for what's left in the stripper cage. How dare you clean up my room? You know, Batman says we don't need to be afraid of people like you. Then again, Batman probably never got around to throwing a grenade at his grandmother. <laughs> no, Mr. Spear, we're not going to talk about the plane crash, okay? It was weeks ago. And no one could have predicted that it'd be full of snakes. Like, right now, we need to find ourselves food and water. And I would imagine your fish are probably gonna be in the ocean. <laughs> so I think we should head towards a large tree with an oasis at the base of it. I don't know if this is necessarily west or not, but maybe we can stop and ask for directions. Hello, Mr. Berries! I don't suppose you guys know whether or not this is westerly. You guys got anything to give me? Other than the squirts? Oh no. We're definitely gonna want to find Mr. Bucket sooner rather than later. Give me an hour, I'm gonna look like an upside down fondue fountain. I mean, it's not a very big island. That's about as big as a tree gets, so I have to hope that we can actually find ourselves a bathroom stall. Uh, oh, Mr. Relieve Yourself, I didn't even recognize you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back to give you the Baja Berry Blast in just a minute. I was going to say I'm hoping we can find ourselves an oasis. I feel like this depressed sunflower is the perfect opportunity for me to introduce you guys to the newest member of the Stick World Saving Team, Existential Dread Sonic. <laughs> He's so beautiful. I, I might even be able to light this sunflower on fire for you. That way you can light your cigarette on its charred corpse. And then you could go ahead and twist that for me. You'd think a thought would be the one who's really good at twisting nuts, but apparently not. Do you think Darth Vader's ever had to deal with a henchman or a rebel that was into getting choked? You know, he starts force choking them and they tell him to go harder. Search your feelings, Luke. You know it to be true. I am your force choke me daddy. <laughs> I hate myself. What are you all looking at? Listen, guys, I only just showed up on the scene, so I'm as shocked as you guys are. Like, it looks like we have a young man making out with either a large woman who isn't his girlfriend, or a small manatee. Who's also probably not his girlfriend. I just don't understand his plan here. Like, how much loose change are you gonna get at sea? We hop on top of this shanty raft and head on out to the ocean, then suddenly I'm playing raft. Wow, you're too young to die. What will you do? Am I too young to die? Are you sure about that? We can hit it with a stone or we could throw a sandwich. Well, clearly we're not giving it a sandwich. The last time we had a sandwich, Bob Ross was humping us in an alleyway. Try hitting it with a rock. What's the worst that could happen? I'm sure that won't piss it off. 
I'm telling you guys, life comes at you fast. Like, one minute, you're sleeping on a sold mattress, and the next, you're shark poop. So how are we gonna ruin their beautiful day at the beach? She's just getting some sun, he's fishing for dolphins? Why are you still with him? Where are you going, little dolphin? Okay, like, dolphin poaching might be evil, but this is just straight up weird. Every now and then when I'm playing a game, I have to stop and just kind of reflect on what's happening. Like right now, we have the Takarazzi taking pictures of the Beaster Bunny, who is currently frozen in midair and about to get suplexed by the champ. Oh my god, he punched him right in the dick. If there's anything that I've learned about this game, it's that it's never quote unquote that simple. But I feel like this is a good place to start. We should be able to have it so that the light vehicles will end up on top. Hopefully, okay, good. Now, so long as the ambulance takes its sweet time. I like the fact that you're not going fast and I especially like the fact that you're not falling through the bridge. Oh my God, is it actually that simple? I can't believe that, oh my God. <laughs> So stupid Ella wants to be prom queen, huh? Well, her name isn't doing her any favors, but fortunately, she's a pretty good looking girl and the competition isn't that stiff. We've got Harry Mary and One-Eyed Wanda, Busty Betty, ooh. Busty Betty might be a problem, I'm not gonna lie, she's packing torpedoes bigger than a submarine. I kinda like the idea of using stage, right? We can drop our giant payload of rocket fuel right on their heads. Oh! Right! I forgot that those were the rocket parts of the rocket ship. So they're gonna keep going to space, no problem. And once again, I've punched my one-way ticket to a crater that would make Freeze's nips rock hard. I do not think we're ready for this. Maybe we should go talk to Joe first. Just see what he has to say. Yo, professor! Sup, Joe? I can't feel my arms anymore. No pain, no gain, bro. You see that chick? Show me what you got. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, he points out the, the nicer ladies. Hiya, babe. Professor is the man you need. I ain't a strong man to protect me. Oh. Level one? Mmm, you're my type. Come on, girl. You know I'm level one. I'm curling... All the cans, slice objects. Oh, oh, what? No, I wasn't ready. Wait, what do you mean slice objects? Is she moving in? No, I didn't ask her to move in. No, my grandma is gonna be pissed if she comes home and finds all your stupid crap on her counters. No, no, stop it, stop it. What is happening? So, I noticed that you threw a bunch of stuff on my bathroom counter. I don't have a bathroom. As you can probably tell by the crap smeared everywhere. Did I catch your name by any chance? Can I interact with you? I think you might be furniture now. Okay, uh, we're just gonna go meet more girls, I guess? I might indulge myself and lick the back of your head. Okay, that, that was just rude. It was just a friendly lick between strangers, lady. Why do you gotta take it personally? Get out of here. Here, there is a rocket. Okay, so I can doom the planet so long as I can get through this furry, and fortunately, I have fists of fury. <laughs> so now we can actually stop the protagonist and doom the planet, and hopefully I could do that in about eight seconds. Oh, he also has fists of fury. This slappy fight is not going fast enough. Come on, go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster. No, no! you got to be kidding me. If I hadn't taken the time to lick that random woman, I could have doomed the world! Like, how big do you think this worm has to be if it's gonna be able to take a bite out of a planet? Or not? Is it? Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought it was just gonna turn away, like, ew. Earth? No! <laughs> Okay, you know what? He's got my vote. Giant alien space worm 2020. Make America worm poop again. If we catch a Canadian smuggling syrup, how should we handle their polar bear? Did I not just pay out of pockets with your tax dollars for police bears? Just let the bears fight. What, what the hell do you mean? Have you forgotten about our second 
Amendment, oh my god. The right to bear arms. I wanna die. <laughs> As if organizing bears into cavalry formation wasn't hard enough, of course one of them would start giving birth! We're about to charge into battle, now is not the time! Don't let me make you cut your stream off! <laughs> you know what, maybe I don't want to actually talk to these people. Warning, do not EA. Did you just eat the tea, sir? You can tell me. Oh, I thought it was a cup of tea, but it's just a lighter floating in cyberspace or something. Did the absence of a cup ever give it away? Oh, I thought it was Orange Pico. It tastes like chalk. Great. That That's great to know. Thank you for sharing. Have you seen a cowboy around here? Sometimes I throw up things that I don't remember eating. <laughs> Wonderful. That's it's good for you. I'll be on my way. <laughs> oh my god. This is an alleyway full of freaks. I don't want to talk to anyone except for the cute little ladies. Oh, she actually wants to talk to me. Hi. My threshold has been infested with vases. I mean, opposite of that. Your vase shop? Oh. This is a vase shop, right? This isn't actually like some kind of rub and tug parlor? No happy endings? <laughs> Consider me interested. Oh, oh, okay. No, it actually is a face shop. There are flies. <gasps> what the? Why are they the size of football? Jesus, okay. It looks like we have some kind of employee trying to duck out of work a little early. Like, it's only three o'clock. You gotta get in your nine to five. Otherwise, Sch Madoff Schmittler will be pissed. That being said, I don't think we need to be quite right with these opening levels. It looks like they're going to be pretty easy because they're straight up telling us what to draw. They want us to draw a line, so we can just as easily go ahead and draw a line. Exactly as it's asked of us. I don't see this being a trick question, but at the same time, I also don't see how this is going to help you get out. Oh no, I see animal migration? Where? Wait, you mean my drawing is animal migration? <laughs> Draw puzzle, what kind of opioids did you mix into your Lucky Charms this morning? How does this get interpreted as animal migration? I'm gonna be real with you guys right now. Even if there are more weapons out there, I probably shouldn't find them. <laughs> There's no way this is healthy. <laughs> then again, neither is having a standoff with the police after resurrecting them in the future. So who exactly is buried here. Oh, it's the polar bear in his car. He's oh, what? <laughs> Hold on a second. Polar bear mark two. I thought I was Michael Bay's wet dream. Oh, this is not good. 1v1. Could you shoot an arrow? Shoot, shoot an arrow. Oh my God. Uh, you alive? Oh no, she died and I've got a... <gasps> I've got a simpleton cupid stuck in a tree! No! You're, you're clearly gonna lose! It's coming! Uh, maybe. Actually, there's, there's a non-zero chance this thing just kills itself. Let's see how this plays out. I'm not gonna rule out the possibility. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with her, but it's like she thinks if she lists off random factoids rather than continuing to report on the zombie outbreak like she's done for an entire game, then maybe she won't piss off the horde any more than she already has. Unfortunately, not gonna work out for her. We are gonna be eating that booty like groceries and nothing is gonna stand between it and a zombie. Except maybe a door. Only for a short period though. Look, a zombie, awesome. Roar. Is it awesome? Is it really? Run for your life! <laughs> That's a little more of what I expected. Now, how are you planning to escape zombies on foot? You're not. You're gonna use a helicopter. Well, isn't that entirely unfair? And what was explosive in that cable newsroom? <laughs> Guys, I know for a fact this office is bigger than you're letting on. There has to be a complaint department somewhere, and I want to file a complaint about Stacy T posing to assert her dominance on me in the workplace. <laughs> Stacy, that's completely unacceptable. I have a rope. I don't suppose I could hog tie you for this. No. 
All right, then. Well, we're locked in here together, so if you need me, I'll be over here playing with the macaroni art. Um, that's weird. I don't suppose your kids made this. Um, hold on a second. I had a doll that can control Stacy and a rope and it didn't lead to a kinky conclusion? That feels like a missed opportunity. We don't even have a complaint department. I could have got away with it. I gotta say the blinking is super off-putting, but they did absolutely nail my chest and abs. Who boy. I don't want to fight you. Oh, I don't have to because we're friends. We're gonna... Say we're gonna avenge the fluffles. There's no saving them now level three the ride home Okay, so we're waiting for the bus just went shopping. She looks kind of pissed off actually Maybe I can take hey, hey no 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 never mind. Sorry. Sorry What what just I was gonna say we might want to take like one big step back for a second there It looked like she was getting ready to blow a fart that could be measured on the Richter scale She's wearing a real short skirt. You could probably lose a foot. Ladies, don't you hate it when you're pregnant, minding your own business, you're balancing on top of a pole 20 feet in the air, and someone decides to spin kick you right in the lips? Well, I've got the product for you. I call it her gaping box. And don't take that out of context. Okay, mind out of the gutter. It's not dirty. It is a man-sized box that can be deployed at a moment's notice to protect mommy's massive muff from even the strongest of kicks okay disclaimer unlike her unborn child this product is still in development so we don't want to go up there good to know <laughs> don't suppose there's something of interest over here for us Ooh. okay i could definitely go for some tacos and i'm seeing some tacos and a taco chef Top of the taco! Hello there, how are you doing today? Can I interest you in the chef special? Is it tacos? Is it taco? Yes! You scared the life out of me! I scared you! I swear to god, the next potato bot to sneak up on me is getting a soda can in the butt. And listen, I know you technically call them exhaust ports, but guess what? They're still butts. Okay, so far so good. Yes, this is a person without taco diarrhea. Uncle Billy, are you doing okay, buds? Do you want me to yes. give you a push? <gasps> okay. No. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, uh, holy yeah. shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean it. Okay. Yeah, well, you know what? Being depressed is the last thing on his mind now. Good. There we go. Okay. That wasn't a siren. That was the whine of things turning on from the electricity. Oh man, I could just feel my heart in my chest. That might have been a siren. There's, there's a good chance that was a siren and some real heavy footsteps. I don't like that. No, my van! <laughs> Oh, come on! My van! Something is out here with me! Maybe I can get that car in the garage running. Are you serious? You don't know that there's something out here with you, okay? Maybe your van crinkled itself up and then jumped in a tree. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, but I am sure as hell not going over there right now. Send a unit to space, but take control of the astronaut. I don't understand how I haven't tried that before. That's ingenious. That is hands down one of the best recommendations I've had in one of these videos. <laughs> like, I'm gonna send a wobbly horse into space, but can I become the wobbly horse? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I am the horse. Oh no, my rider. Oh, what? I think I was reincarnated as a tree. I came here to rob a witch, not find a ghost who's dummy thick. Do you think if I introduce myself, I might be able to clap those ectoplasmic cheeks? No? It's worth a try. 
And then swing it over. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we can just take a look through. Uh, through. That was not what I meant. I just wanted to kind of push things around a little bit. No, no, you. It's my first day. Okay, no, that's a lot of explosions for a first day. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was really important for me to get rid of the hobos taking a dump in the playground, but I'm really happy that I actually invested in a gymnasium because now we have a school dance. Now, every one of you leave room for Jesus, okay? One foot in between each of you. I don't want to see anyone poking pissers. Yeah, you split up. <laughs> Okay, game, you're gonna need to be a little bit more specific when you tell me to help her. Do you mean because of the bad touch under the table? Or because she's about to be eaten by the world's smallest, scuzziest titan? <laughs> Can I move her out of the way? Or move the hands? Maybe I can hit him with a purse and have him detonate? I always thought girl power was like a, a social movement. Not like the Care Bear stare. It really goes to show that you gotta want it, right? Like old Mr. Healy, he stopped after getting a little moist. We had high voltage surge through our body, just kept on trucking. Nothing is gonna distract us, except for maybe a sassy magazine. It's probably like a, a baking magazine. It's gotta be with that much cake on the cover. Oh, no, no, come on. How are you everywhere? I, I, I don't understand. How can you even see over those nostrils? Do we want to give up our seat to the guy with heavy bags, the pregnant lady, the old man, or the young music listener? I mean, some of these options are definitely better than others, but I think I'm gonna go with Tedzilla. I kinda want her to get out of my face. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, uh, would you and your baby like to have my seat? Oh. Oh, uh, you're not pregnant. Would you and your Egg McMuffins like to have my seat? <laughs> the offer still stands. Probably a whole lot longer than you can. Listen, kid, I know your first day at work can be real scary. Trust me, this is like my 50th. <laughs> but maybe I could do you one better than teaching you how to use a whistle. We've got pool supplies over here. Uh... Oh! Oh, uh, uh, everyone out of the pool. I think I just flushed like four people. Oh, interesting. That's really loud and annoying. Next, I've got this life preserver. I think it's meant to make you feel more alive, but it's not working on me. Yeah, a little late for that. I think I'm done with Christmas being about the bitter cold and a nauseating amount of lights and... Santa exploiting the working class. You know, the only ho-ho-hos that I want are the ones with a fat ass. <laughs> Actually, that's weird. If Jabba drowned in the ocean, I can guarantee I would not be the one to rescue him. <gasps> On the upside, I look great. I should be selling underwear in a Sears catalog. The very first thing they teach you in spy school is how to turn a lady on, even if she's the villain's wife. You always just gotta bring a little something something to get her motor running. Ooh, that tickles. Yeah. Oh, bye. What? No, 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 no. You don't want to pillow fight me. Trust me, I, I I always go a little bit too far. This is a mistake. You don't want this lady. This is not gonna end well. What are the odds we're on the first floor? Oh crap. Is now a bad time to mention that I have an allergy to falling from great heights? <laughs> like, I know I spend all day fighting giant birds and avoiding giant sharks and talking to farm animals, but this brain is not smooth or swollen. Okay, I'm not clueless or concussed. I am a survivor. <laughs> who is about to die of dehydration. You gotta be kidding me right now, but no! <laughs> no. No, don't tell me after all that we're just gonna crawl back up inside her. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, I just completely spaced on her name for like 
15 seconds. I was about to settle for Kanye's wife, but it's Kim Kardashian, right? Except you're supposed to have the glass on your ass, aren't you? Can I switch these around? Maybe I can, um, nope. Nope, that, that wasn't what I wanted. Well, you can't really blame me for having tried to pinch and poke and pull every part of her, but nothing seems to be working. Maybe I can hold somewhere? That's still not right. I want to get it over here. Can I do something to get it over there? That's still not right. <laughs> I mean, we're bound to get it right eventually. Or not. Nothing is working now. Is that right? I don't think it's supposed to just rocket you into space. <laughs> oh, hey, Elon. Hey, Neil. You're shockingly thick, isn't it? Hold up a minute. Do you think they know about each other? Like, have I managed to keep 20 billion marriages a complete secret? Like, they're all on their way home after work to their husbands without realizing that it's husband. I gotta play this safe. They could tear me apart like piranhas. Try to reason with them to make them stop. I don't want to reason with them. I really hope that they're gonna be belligerent. Hey, hey, chill out, will ya? I don't want any fights around here. Mind your friggin' business, you loser. Oh, that is just music to my ears. It may be midnight, but we're still serving lunch here at the box. Can I interest you in a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> night, night, dickheads. If the customer just won't reason, nothing better than a bloody nose to get your point across. Oh, now we're talking. Hey, how you doing? I'm getting pissed. Well, <laughs> that works. Is it usually this slow? I don't know. <laughs> You know, just between me and you, I don't see the need for all of these rules and regulations. Like, what really is the difference between a spa and a chiropractor? Just because I can accidentally shatter someone's spine doesn't mean I will. I'm just gonna go ahead and get your pointy head in the right angle. There we go. And we need to breathe in. One, two, three, breathe out! I can't believe those cyborg bellhops Scott summered my MasterCard. Like, I could have gotten into so many rooms, so much to see, so many people to meet. What's your deal, dudes? Oh. You're the best. Oh, thank you. I I'm not gonna lie, though. If I had to get a life-size doll, it would not be a dude, and it would not have clothes. Let's play together. I mean, yeah, you're not far off. This is technically a let's play. Let's cuddle together. Nope, nope, that's where I draw the line. Don't ask where he managed to find a banana gun, okay? All that matters is that we're not getting bullied by anybody in a tight vest anymore. You better believe that we are... Oh. Oh, it actually shoots bananas. Well, isn't that disappointing? I thought it was a gun that looked like a banana, not a gun that shot bananas. Oh, please let go of my balls, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know Barbie is gonna end up being smooth as eggs down there, but at the same time, she's interrupting Ken. You know, maybe we can give him a bit of a show? Give a tug on this towel? Was that a mistake? Is it too late to bring this thing back? Mom, did you keep the receipts? Because she's definitely looking a little odd. I mean, maybe she's just got really good posability. You know, that's what you would want in a doll, right? That this is probably a bonus. She's also got bonus legs coming out of her cooter. You know what? I'm not going to ask why there's some kind of remote controlled pig cruising around the resort. Because <laughs> it's irrelevant to my to-do list. You know, I've got three major things that I want to accomplish on this vacation. I want to hook up with beach babes. I want to participate in island activities. And I want to get drunk and you are gonna make a fantastic start to that tropical paradise trifecta <laughs> i can see you've already got a lay and not much else i don't suppose you'd like to get laid we have some freshly formatted rooms available was that a scottish accent did you just ignore my s tier pickup line where is this island exactly? Do I look like the complaints department? Because I am. No, no, I, I wasn't complaining. I was just confused, a little surprised. 
<laughs> if anything, you, you kind of look like someone tried to grow tits in a garden. Oh, you'd like to speak to the manager? Well, I am the manager. What now? Well, lady, I'm trying to pull a quagmire here, not a Karen. You know what? My mom always used to tell me, if you don't want random guys asking to toss it in you, then you should wear a shirt in public. Who is an imposter? By the sounds of it, I'm the imposter, but... We've got one girl saying, let's have a picnic. The other girl saying, we will have great food. And mom, with her triple thick neck, which is making me a little sus. Uh... You guys do realize that your picnic is nothing but an end table in the park with the bottle of air? Or maybe a bottle of water? Did, did you want to have the first drink? Here you go! Ew. I don't know why I just poured that on your face. Uh, maybe the imposter can't survive water? Oh, big surprise. Of course it'd be mom! Yeah, real shock. It looked like you swallowed a microwave. Sexy girls and zombies. Okay, it's a good idea. Kind of. But goats? I will never understand how goats can attract to users. It's probably a voodoo thing or something. Or maybe it's related to the letters G, O, A, and T. I don't know. You don't know? Really? Like... You gotta be kidding me. You lured me here with the promises of sexy ladies, and now you're gonna tell me to save the day I gotta put in goat? Really? Goat. It, it, it's, it's gonna be, it's a goat. A goat! It's a goat in a Obviously, cage. Obviously, the cage is locked. Uh-huh. You must find the key. Okay. Yeah, uh, usually when you save the day, it's to tug on the princess's udders, not a goat's! The human body is 90% water. Uh, okay, game, listen, speak for yourself. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm at least 30% Nesquik and peanut butter. And something tells me I don't add up to 120%, so how about we just mind our own business? Yeah, so we're basically just cucumbers with anxiety. Again, who's we? I'm basically a Reese's Pieces with hairy nipples. I have no idea what is going on right now? Like, nothing on social media is describing how you can just bribe the Grim Reaper. Like, Crow News is reporting that Rector of Sidestin High School found dead. Guess they're a die-rector now. A local jokester notes. Listen, if that guy's profile doesn't come across my desk in the next couple of days, I might just have to make a house call. Looks like access to the main laboratory is locked. I'll need to get those doors open. Uh, okay, doors, yeah, got it. Uh, Cecil, was it? You finally introduced yourself after the third mission and I can't even remember? I gotta ask, why are there scientists seven feet tall and built like linebackers? <laughs> this lady looks like her father was half refrigerator. I gotta ask, why does this club have an open high-rise kitchen and why is it yelling at me to collect $60? <laughs> I'm trying, kitchen. Obviously, I'm doing my best. Oh. We can invite a guest to fill the club. That's how this works. Now we're seeing some movement. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We're gonna invite some rump shakers. <laughs> right, yeah. Soon as I saw that, I knew I wanted to play this game because I mean, it's just <laughs> so good. Mr. Bridge, we would very much appreciate it if you didn't hurl yourself into boat traffic like that. <laughs> like, you've got so many reasons to live. Uh, little bridge kids, uh, bridge wife, bridge dog. And besides, you really want me to finish this game so that I can finally escape this hell, okay? <gasps> We've cleared the first hurdle. Now, just lower down. You don't need to go the whole way. That, that's, that's probably good enough, okay? Stress looks good, and there you have it. I kind of want to hurl myself into boat traffic, to be perfectly honest. They sent out their winged warriors, their navy, their bear nips, but the thing you really need to worry about is the itsy bitsy teeny weeny warrior. I'm telling you, the Viking faction are nuts. Like fresh out the womb, they braid your beard and hand you an axe and a shield. 
honestly though, what could making a dumb face do? Like, I, I swear, if we just distract him and he gets like run over by a car or something completely unpredictable, I'm gonna be slightly pissed. What, you think that will upset me? Oh, very much. Oh. <laughs> that voice, it's the ghost, Holmes. The Russian ghost. <laughs> but I'm not Russian. You are. Mr. Wilhelm, you never told us you were such a talented ventriloquist. Oh, he's not the one speaking. I am. My name is Game. He is the game. I'm a computer program. I'm with a user, a human. Hi. And we're trying everything we can to get home. Do you know how we can exit your game? What's a video game? Listen, Alice, I'll be the first to admit I'm a cow puncher, not a doctor or a dynamiteologist, but should you be storing that many barrels of explosives next to an open flame? <laughs> like, what's all the TNT for? Like, if someone comes in here with a cough, do you just detonate them? <laughs> okay, this is getting a little ridiculous now. Like, I know sometimes this game likes to beat around the bush a little bit. And again, please don't take that out of context. You guys have dirty minds too, but like this is just straightforward. They're honestly gonna make me vote, tits or ass. And, and I mean, if I really have to, the lady on the left is built like a lawn dart. It's not just the chest, it's also the neck and the shoulders that matter. She looks like the halfway point in an Animorph cover. Do you think right hand man holds a bit of a grudge? Does he have hard feelings about the fact that we kind of decapitated him in a past game? I really don't like being back to back with him. Maybe we could summon a new ally? Put me back to back with Ellie. Or front to front, preferably. <laughs> oh. I'm a firing my laser. It takes five to eight business days to shoop to whoop. No, Schmittler, please tell me you didn't cut off Karen's ponytail. Are you out of your damn mind? She's gonna lose it. I'm not opening up that locker. She has been inside every single locker that I've opened. I refuse to get stabbed for what you did. If you need me, I'll be avoiding this meeting. Since when do we do business in here? I kind of figured. We were more about growing plants in the office. Why does that cow have titties instead of udders? Like, am I supposed to be making some kind of offering to the double D milkers? Because I can. Oh, I got milk. Isn't that lovely? I want to end things off with some more director's commentary or whatever you want to call it. Because I, I love the fact that I edited this video before recording this. So I, I pretty much just watched it alongside with you. And it's hard for me to believe that that is me, if that makes any sense. Because like I upload so many videos that I, I just don't remember them. You know, it'd be like asking somebody, what did they have for breakfast last week? It's so mundane and so everyday that it just kind of comes and goes and that's it. But when watching all of these old clips, it feels like I'm watching a YouTuber, which I guess I've never really considered myself to be. No, I've always seen myself as an aspiring YouTuber, which probably seems stupid having 2 million subscribers, but still. And you know, like, all of those like, jokes and funny moments that you just saw, they wouldn't mean anything if people didn't laugh at them. You know, all these videos, they wouldn't mean anything if people didn't watch them. So honestly, thank you guys so much for giving my work meaning. It's something that I've said throughout the years, but I, I want to keep reiterating it because like, it, it would just, it would suck not to have an audience and I'm very grateful to have an audience. That's just really all there is to say. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next year.